More than 50,000 Australians, and many more globally, suffer from severe vision loss, and blindness has a profound effect on the quality of life for sufferers and their families. It also greatly impacts the community and costs Australia in excess of $3 billion annually. The emotional and psychological cost is immeasurable. Researchers from the University of Melbourne have joined Bionic Vision Australia, a world-class national consortium of retinal surgeons, vision clinicians, neuroscientists, biomedical and electrical engineers working together to develop an advanced bionic eye. The consortium unveiled their prototype bionic eye, a wide-view neurostimulator concept, at the University of Melbourne this week. Bionic Vision Australia was officially launched by Prime Minister Kevin Rudd. Its members include the University of Melbourne, the University of New South Wales, Centre for Eye Research Australia, the Bionic Ear Institute and NICTA. Research Director of Bionic Vision Australia and Professor of Engineering at the University of Melbourne, Professor Anthony Burkett, says the device will deliver life-changing vision for recipients. What we see here is a camera mounted on a set of glasses which will capture the external <coughs> image. It sends it down then through to a vision processing unit where that image is transformed into a series of electrical impulses. That signal is then sent back, transmitted then wirelessly through the skin, very much like uh, a disc for a cochlear implant, and sent through to an electronics unit placed on the outside of the eye. The prototype Bionic Eye is set to provide users with increased mobility and independence. Future versions of the implant will eventually allow recipients to recognise faces and read large print. The biggest thing that a Bionic Eye would give you is be able to see the people that matter in your life. You know, your, your spouses, your family, your friends, all those sort of things. And if you can be given the chance to to see them again, to see, you know, if you had grandchildren or you had close friends and relatives, you know, it'd be just an absolute bonus. The next four years, leading up to the first human implant of the Wide View Neurostimulator device in 2013, will involve intense clinical trials to ensure the safety and efficiency of the device. The four years is a proof of concept uh, of getting a device developed and that we can put in very safely and easily into a patient and then have it clearly work and function the way we anticipate. There's general excitement and anticipation that there will be something that will help. Everyone realises that it's not going to be uh, bringing back the vision that they had as, as a younger person. But also they realise that a lot of times that their disease is inherited and so they're hopeful that maybe if it doesn't help them necessarily in the early stages, it'll be something that will help their family members who may also suffer from this disease as well. Just to be able to see the world is, is just something that would be really special, I think, to people that uh, were given the opportunity of a bionic eye.